and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today, we're going to be going over the brand new Football Outsiders. This has been my last probably content video for the next week or so. I will have other videos for you guys, but like live content in the morning. Probably my last one for about a week because I will be in Spain today. I do leave today in a few hours. So, last video you guys will be seeing of me. So, let's go out with a bang. You yeah, that was the last video you'll be seeing. Last live video you'll be seeing of me. So, let's go out with a bang, guys. Hopefully, these football outsiders are cool. I, ha I read the names, obviously, but we got to see the stats now. The football outsider pack should be up in the store. Typically, it takes forever. I'm happy that they'll be updated at 6,370. Typically, like the last time I waited for these packs, it took maybe, I don't remember. It took like an hour for the packs to update. So thank, thank, thankfully they were upgraded already. So we don't have to wait an hour to make this video like last time because I'm kind of in a little bit of a rush today. So guys, before we get into this whole video, make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn the notification bell, boys. Hopefully by the time I'm back from Spain, we'll be close to like 18k subscribers. We're grinding out. We got to get close to 20k by the end of February. That is the goal. We might hit it well before then. I'm not entirely sure, but I set a pretty decent sized goal. You know, I don't want to. Set it too far ahead of schedule because I'm gonna keep pushing it back. I set a fair date and hopefully we can hit it by then. And guys, make sure to spam the like button for my last day, my last live content vid of the week. Could you guys get 300 likes in this video? That'd be greatly appreciated. Make sure to watch this for your Sunday football. Now, let's head over to the auction block and kind of get an idea for what we can be seeing that's gonna be new. Obviously, it's not gonna be out right away. I don't know who's who's buying football outside of packs of 6,000, but you never know. So let's go check that out. Go to program, let's go to football outsiders. I'm kind of hype. I mean, like McCall Hardman, there's been a few that I've like actually really liked, but you never really know with EA and with the statting, the stat, the way they do stats here. So you never entirely know. I do not entirely. I feel like Kenyon Drake is definitely a new one. Let's see that one. Date acquired 112. That is today. Yep. Kenyon Drake is definitely a brand new one. Mud 20 football outsiders let all running backs in rushing defensive yards. Defensive yards adjust. I don't know how to say that. In December, 400 yards, seven touchdowns. Honestly, that's pretty solid right there. He did have a really good uh, stretch after David Johnson got hurt. 92 speed, 90 ca acceleration, 91 agility, 90 carrying, 70 catching, 86 glutes in a 68 trucking, 85 break tackle. The speed and excel solid, the agility solid, the carrying really solid. I'm happy they gave him a good carrying though, because typically with speed backs like this, they typically mess up the carrying and then they're not useful because they're just gonna fumble a lot. Let's see what his other, his catching is honestly really solid too. Take return solid, stiff arm solid spin move 87 juke 94 the guys this guy this card's honestly really decent at like a budget back if he comes into like the 100k range could be a really good budget back hey, let's see what he can get he can't get evasive oh actually he can't be powered up so it really depends on what's what uh what stat and what ability slot he can get evasive in but he is an evasive back and he is eligible for most of those things if he can get it maybe he can get like jukebox or spin cycle no matter what though honestly really sad out oh, julian love i imagine that is another new one from the giants the giants typically get love so it has to be in December, second in NFL with nine defeats in December. Average run tackle after just 2.1 yards and allowed 3.6 yards per pass in coverage. You need to fix that, man. You can't even read that. 88 speed, 87 excel, 77 tackle, 83 play rec, 81 pursuit, 84 man, 81 zone, 68 power. Eh. Card's decent. No hit power, which I don't like, especially on a budget team. I like to find those like low, those low level hitters. 88 speed, 87 excel, decent athleticism, not great coverage, decent coverage at best. See, that coverage would look a lot better if he had like a 95 hit power, but he has no hit power and he can barely cover, and he's not even like just insanely fast. The card is decent at best, not entirely feeling that card for the most part. Let's refresh this real quick. Logan Cook, that should be one of the new ones, 93 overall punter. Why do the punters and kickers always get the top ones? Led NFL 4.9 points of estimated field position and net punting in December, league leading 50.1 gross yards per punt. Let's see. He's got 95 kick power. Whoa, 86 kick accuracy. Treyway does not stack up against that guy. He has a plus 11 kick power. I definitely got to pick up a good punter soon because punting would definitely help me out a lot in Madden if I actually could do it. But I never do because Treyway can only punt like 35 yards. Logan Cook could probably punt like 50 yards. So, oh, it actually probably says that, right? Yeah, so that'd be a lot more helpful that I can really clear the field when I'm really far back, but it doesn't make sense with my guy. Then we got Randy Bullock, one of the new ones, kicker for the uh, Bengals. I thought the Patriots were going to pick him up at one point. I don't remember what really happened with that. 95 kick power, 85 kick accuracy. Wow. I really got to sell my Justin Tucker at some point. This not plus five kick power, that is absolutely huge, guys. That is the difference between being able to make... Justin Tucker can barely make a 50, and Bullock could probably make like a 58. Probably close to right win, maybe 60. Let's see... Uh, Led the football outside 10 for 10 in December, including six field goals of 44 or more yards. That's a really solid. 
They dro that's the only good thing about this promo. They dropped some really good kickers. They dropped some really good punters. So we can always use those. JC Jackson, I believe that is also a new one. Let's see. Yep. Uh, 4.9 yards per passing coverage in December, according to Sports Info Solutions charting. 89 speed, 91 excel. Okay, 86 agility, 85 jumping, 86 play rec, 89 man, 85 zone coverage, 89 press. Honestly, a really solid card. You you power now you can't power him up. You chem him up. You can get his man above a 90, his press above a 90, his speed's gonna be right there, close to a 90. Really fast. Honestly, this is gonna be a budget beast cornerback. He's gonna be one of the best budget beast cornerbacks in Madden probably. So next time we make a big budget beast video, update it after this week, obviously. Probably gonna have to toss him in there. Really, really solid card. Next, Matt Predis. I don't remember. I believe he was. Oh, he was also yeah, okay. He was number Carolina third and Justin line yards on runs up the middle. Only two blown blocks in December. That's honestly really good. 88 strength, 91 awareness, 87 pass block, 85 pass block power, 85 pass block finesse, 84 run block, 82 run block power, and 86 run block finesse. Solid lineman. Um, I don't know if he's gonna be the best budget type center lineman, but he is looking pretty solid with those stats right there. Not a bad card overall. Next, we got Harold Landry the third. He's definitely a new one too as well. Tied for eight with tied for eighth with 12 Harrys in December. He's 85 speed, 90 excel. Okay, really good for an outside linebacker. That's not Lawrence Taylor. 90 tackle, solid. 81 play rec, solid. 92 finesse move. So his, his run stuffing is not great, but he's going to be a really good pass rushing linebacker. The only thing that can make this better, if they gave him zone coverage, that's what I'm looking for. A pass rushing with zone coverage. So when I blitz, he can rush. But yeah, never give him the zone. If they ever gave someone pass rushing with a little bit of zone, that'd be awesome because I could rush him on a blitz as well as keep him out of zone. Actually, good block. If they gave him good block shit in the zone, that's exactly what I'm looking for. More so than pass rushing in the zone. That card looks pretty solid as well. I do see. Let's refresh this real quick to see all the other ones that probably just got pulled. All right. Graham Glasgow. Glas Glasgow. It's definitely one too. Detroit. 10th in adjusted line yards and runs up the middle. <clears throat> Only one blown block in December. Let's see. He's got 83 pass block, 86 pass block power, 81 pass block finesse, 84 run block, 89 run block power, 85 run block finesse. Not the best guy. He's going to be a pretty good budget run blocking uh, guard with decent pass blocking potential there. Not the best thing. I wouldn't really recommend that. It's going to look decent. Taylor Luan, I believe he's also in here. Nope, that's November. Okay, I was going to say, he didn't look he didn't look too old, but Eric Reed, that's, that might be, is that a new one? Yep, led all defensive backs, 24 run tackles in December. He has 87 speed, 80, 91 excel, 70 tackle, 92 play rec, 82 pursuit, and 84 man, 87 zone, 97 hit power. Whoa, okay. This is a solid ass strong safety. Hold up. You chem this guy up with like run. You put lockdown on him, he's gonna have a 90 zone coverage. Which if you have John Madden past your lockdown, 90 zone coverage, 97 hit power with an 87 speed. This is gonna be one of the best budget strong safeties in Madden at this moment in time. Gonna definitely be up there. Gonna have to toss him in the next big list we do because that is pretty insane. Kenny Moore, why do I feel like... Is that... Oh, I don't know. Okay, I think that's today. Weeks 9 to 13. I could be wrong. I could be very wrong. No, that, that might be November. I don't know. I'm not entirely sure on that one. I, I don't have the list on me, but I'm pretty sure we covered the majority of them. Let's refresh one more time. Uh, James Burgess Jr., that's probably a new one. Yep, led NFL with 13 defeats in December. Average run tackle for just 1.5 yards. Lowest of any middle linebacker. Um, 85 speed and 89 excel. Great user linebacker for a budget team. 91 tackle. 83 hit power. 81 block shed. 86 play rec. A jack of all trades type linebacker. Nothing too special. Decent decent user. Really good Jets theme team type player. Especially because the Jets don't have too many players for the uh, theme team. Jimmy Collins is old. Let's refresh this one more time. Let's see if we get anything else that we haven't seen just yet. People are definitely opening these packs a lot because I'm seeing a lot of players being pulled right now. Not even just new, but like old ones too. Which typically means people are spamming the hell out of this pack right now. And let's refresh this again. And I think for the most part, we covered almost everything. I don't think there's much left. We did cover a lot of players. So that definitely has to be close to the max amount they did have. I can't imagine there's much more. The uh, football outsiders typically drop like 10 plus players though. So it is expected for them to be a decent amount. I don't know if they're now filled up. Like you can't even see anymore because I'm not seeing anymore. And they've been upgrading at a pretty decent rate. Let's, uh, let's filter out by 92 to 93s. Make sure we didn't miss any of the bigger ones. Nope. I think we're good on that base. And then let's check out the 90 90, 90s, 91s. And we should be pretty good. I don't think there's anything else that we need to see. All right, guys. That's pretty much it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Wish me luck on the trip this week. Hopefully, I'm back for you guys just in time to go over some team of the year stuff towards the end. I have a bunch of pre-recorded videos. I have like 14 to 20 videos for you guys ready to go. So, I'll get up as many as I can during the week when the time seems appropriate. Thank you guys for watching. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn the notification bell, boys. Come join the family. If you haven't already, comment down below. 
say what's up i'll get to my comments as much as i can this week while i'm gone it's gonna be a little bit difficult with no wi-fi and stuff while traveling back at the hotel and stuff i'll obviously have wi-fi but we'll work on that as we go make sure to give this video a big thumbs up can we get 350 likes for the last live content video of the week we greatly appreciate it guys thank you so much for watching i'm out see you next video peace